In the mid-16th century, China flourished under the Ming Dynasty, a period of cultural and economic vibrancy. Millions lived across its vast territories, primarily in agricultural communities. Life was often centered around family, farming, and local traditions. Stability was generally expected across the land. Shanxi province, located in central China, was a densely populated area, known for its fertile loess soil. Many residents lived in homes carved directly into the soft loess cliffs, offering natural insulation and easy construction. This unique dwelling style, known as Yaodongs, was common and ancient. People built their lives within these earth structures. The date was January 23, 1566, a cold winter morning in the Chinese lunar calendar's new year. Most people were likely still in their homes, perhaps celebrating or preparing for the day. The ground felt stable, and the air was still, giving no hint of the disaster to come. It seemed like any other peaceful dawn. Suddenly, in the middle of the night, a catastrophic earthquake violently shook Shanxi province. The ground beneath people's feet convulsed with terrifying force, throwing them from their beds. Buildings began to crumble instantly, as the earth unleashed its fury without warning. Chaos erupted across the region. While no precise modern instruments existed then, historical records suggest the earthquake's magnitude was around 8 on the Richter scale. Its intensity, measured by ground shaking, was estimated at 11, extreme, on a Macaulay scale. This meant widespread and near total destruction in the epicentral region. The ground motion was incredibly severe. The traditional Yaodong homes, carved into the less cliffs, proved tragically vulnerable to such violent shaking. The soft soil could not withstand the extreme forces, leading to widespread collapses. Millions were instantly buried alive, as their homes imploded around them. Their unique dwellings became their tombs. Beyond the lowest caves, traditional brick and wooden structures also crumbled rapidly. City walls, temples, and ordinary houses disintegrated into rubble within moments. The very ground seemed to liquefy in some areas, swallowing structures whole. There was simply no time to escape for most. The powerful tremors caused massive fissures to open in the earth, some reportedly 20 meters deep. Widespread landslides occurred across the hilly terrain, burying entire villages and altering landscapes. Rivers changed course, and new hills appeared, testament to the Earth's violent reshaping. The land itself was torn apart. The earthquake significantly impacted rivers and water systems throughout Shanxi and neighboring provinces. Rivers either overflowed their banks or shifted course entirely, leading to both flooding and drought in different areas. Wells were destroyed or ran dry, further complicating survival for those who remained. Access to vital water was severely disrupted. Cities like Huaxian, located near the epicenter, suffered particularly devastating damage. Historical records indicate that nearly all buildings in Huaxian were destroyed, and over half of its population perished. The city was utterly flattened, leaving behind only ruins and sorrow. Urban centers faced complete annihilation. Ancient temples and pagodas, standing for centuries, were not spared from the earthquake's wrath. The small wild goose pagoda in Xi'an, though damaged, famously survived, its original height reduced. Other grand structures simply collapsed, losing centuries of history in an instant. Cultural heritage was tragically lost. Detailed official records from the Ming Dynasty meticulously documented the widespread destruction. These historical accounts described vast areas reduced to rubble, massive cracks in the earth, and rivers changing their paths. Such documentation provides crucial insights into the earthquake's terrifying scale. The government kept careful track of the devastation. The Shanxi earthquake remains the deadliest earthquake in recorded history, a catastrophe of unimaginable human loss. The sheer population density of the affected regions, combined with vulnerable housing, contributed to the staggering death toll. Entire families and communities were wiped out in an instant. The human cost was truly overwhelming. Official Chinese records estimate the death toll at approximately 100,000 in the immediate aftermath, with subsequent deaths from disease and famine, raising the figure significantly. Modern estimates place the total number of fatalities at around 900,000. It is a sobering reminder of nature's destructive
destructive power. For those who survived the initial shaking, life became a desperate struggle against exposure, hunger, and thirst. Winter conditions made survival even more challenging, with countless people left without shelter or resources. They faced a desolate landscape of ruins and death. Their ordeal was far from over. The main shock was followed by numerous strong aftershocks that continued for months and even years, keeping survivors in a constant state of fear. These further tremors caused additional collapses and hindered any immediate attempts at rebuilding. The earth refused to settle, prolonging the terror. The destruction of agricultural land, irrigation systems, and trade routes led to widespread famine in the years following the quake. Malnutrition and unsanitary conditions also caused outbreaks of disease, further increasing the death toll. The survivors endured a period of severe hardship. The Ming Dynasty government, though facing challenges, did organize some relief efforts. Imperial decrees ordered tax exemptions and the distribution of grain to the affected areas. However, the scale of the disaster was so vast that effective relief was incredibly difficult to deliver. Resources were stretched thin. Over time, the affected regions slowly began the arduous process of rebuilding. Survivors had to clear immense amounts of rubble and debris before new construction could even begin. It was a long and challenging road, requiring generations of effort. The landscape slowly began to heal. The 1556 earthquake left a deep and lasting scar on Shanxi province. Population distribution shifted, and some areas remained sparsely inhabited for centuries. The disaster became a defining event in the region's history, shaping its development for generations. Its memory persisted for a long time. In the aftermath, building practices in Shanxi adapted to account for seismic risks. While Yaodongs continued to be used, new construction often incorporated more resilient designs or alternative materials. This catastrophic event forced a re-evaluation of traditional architecture. Lessons were learned through immense suffering. The 1536 Shanxi earthquake stands as a monumental event in geological and human history. Its unprecedented death toll and detailed historical records make it a crucial case study for seismologists and historians. It offers a chilling glimpse into the destructive power of major earthquakes. Its impact echoes through time. Today, modern seismology helps us understand the tectonic forces that caused the 1556 quake. The region sits near active fault lines, making it prone to significant seismic events. Scientists continue to monitor the area to predict and prepare for future tremors. Knowledge gained helps protect current populations. Although there are no specific monuments to the 1556 earthquake, its memory is deeply embedded in the historical consciousness of China. Its devastation serves as a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable power. The resilience of the Chinese people in rebuilding their lives stands as a testament. The 1556 Shanxi earthquake is a sobering reminder of humanity's vulnerability to the forces of the earth. It underscores the vital importance of understanding geological risks and building resilient communities. This ancient catastrophe continues to offer crucial lessons for disaster preparedness in our modern world. Subscribe for more disaster videos.